So I'm Ben Bissett, I'm the Network Rail Scheme Project Manager for the IEP uh, upgrade out there at Neville Hill. First and foremost, this job is part of a wider railway upgrade plan to upgrade the Network Rail infrastructure and the depot infrastructure for the uh, introduction of the Azuma fleet. Uh, this is a vital cog, a vital part of doing that. Uh, we're taking the existing ballasted track replacing that of a slab track structure with attenuation. We're installing new fueling points, new ad blue dispensing points, and that's so that these brand new Azuma trains uh, that are being manufactured currently can be serviced at this depot. It's an absolutely essential piece of work in, in the wider IEP Intercity Express program introduction. Many different train uh, servicing and maintenance activities are undertaken here. There are, there are carriage wash facilities, there are fueling points, there are light repair sheds. Without these facilities, the network simply wouldn't be able to uh, to run at capacity. My name is Joe Bennett, I'm a project director for Spencers. I'm responsible for delivering Neville Hill. The job is split into four phases. Uh, each phase is a road. Looking at the detail, the intentions is to remove the track, excavate the current ballast uh, removal. Uh, the ballast is triple handled off site, so we excavate it with an eight ton uh, excavator into an RRV. The RRV then relocates it into a dumper the dumper then empties it into a skip and the grab wagons come and empty the skips and take it off site. So it's quite a complex process. As you appreciate, this is a live depot with tight constraints. So we've got all the depot traffic. Periodically, you get working parties of uh, train drivers, up to 20, trying to access and walk across site. So fenced excavations and, and spotters and banksmen are key. Uh, logistics is a, a key to the success of the job. We're currently working in a, in a busy depot uh, with a lot of train movements from the depot's operations team. Um, we have RRVs on a daily basis transporting to and from site. We have uh, reception roads one to four in our work site at all times. They're taken on a daily basis from 0700 and we have them right through to 1700 hours at an evening time. All of the lines on the, on the depot, apart from the reception roads, are actually classed as open at all times. So we've had to go um, out of our way to put an ALO plan in place. The depot environment is always a, a difficult one to work um, ultimately we have a depot here that's a live working depot in, in all its parts and so that is that is the real challenge making sure that our project works are delivered but without uh, importing too much uh, reduction in capability for the depot. Building relationships with these people is key to success. Uh, it's easier to work with them than against them. So whatever you do, you need them on board. Uh, effectively, you're working in their backyard. I think Spencer's um, deserve a great deal of credit for the proactive approach they've taken with this project. I, I can name check Joe Bennett and say he, he made a great deal of effort to ensure there was good levels of communication. Projects such as this rely on communication. There's so many interested stakeholders and interested parties that they're only successful if communication is good. There's definitely a willingness to learn here, um, and we've seen that with the reception roads we've delivered so far sequentially. From one road to the next, we have learned a great deal on how we deliver this job, how we execute the work safely, uh, and I think the team have really been keen to take that on board, take the lessons and make sure we apply them on the next phase. We do have a good relationship with Network Rail on this job. They, uh, they do see the things that we're doing as positives. So safety is the number one priority on this site. Um, every single close call gets reviewed on this site and it helps us improve our safety standards. I've also got to applaud the team on, on the, the quality of the workmanship and the product that they deliver. You can see, as I said earlier, a great transformation out there and that's due to the qu high quality workmanship and the, the, the focus on delivering a high quality product which the team have, have really taken on board and ensured. I, I take great pride in the fact that we've been acknowledged both internally and externally through stakeholders, Network Rail and the Depot, for the hard work that's been put in, not just by me, but by all the team, because it is a team effort at the end of the day. Uh, and I take great pride in the fact that there's a great atmosphere on site with a great bunch of people. I'm very proud of what we're achieving here. Um, especially uh, managing a job like this with the P-Way team. Um, the, the guys are very, very experienced in what they do. The tasks that we give them aren't easy. Um, they take it away. We all come up with an idea that's the best to complete a task. Um, we, we do that task very efficiently, safely, on time, and it makes you pr proud to see what we're achieving um, in a very tight time scale. Seeing the job progress has been immensely satisfying, um, and, and that's the way, personally, the pleasure I take from the job, seeing something go from concept uh, seeing it develop and seeing its journey and eventually here we'll have a shiny new product out there and it'll be great to see.